Okay, Uber's here. It's 5.30 in the morning. I am leaving my house in Georgia to fly to Tulsa, Oklahoma and move my mother-in-law back to Georgia to live with me. Oh, and the best part is my wife doesn't know I'm doing this. All right, let me explain. My wife is out of town at a writer's retreat in Paris, France, and we've both known for some time that her mother will come live with us at some point in the future. Well, I got a call on Saturday that she's ready to come, and so I thought, well, I can make this happen while my wife's out of town without any stress at all for her, so that when she gets back, her mom will be living with us. Okay, the first truck was reserved, but they'd lost the keys. So now I'm at another location, finally in another truck, and we are moving forward, which is cool. I mean, part of being off balance is about trusting your spontaneity, your intuition, which is why I'm here in Oklahoma. But it also means that when you are thrown off your game or when things happen that send you off balance, you don't go off purpose. You are able to keep moving forward. And so that's what we're doing. The next step, the next stop is to pick up my mother-in-law. It's 12.20 in Tulsa, and we've already done a pretty good job loading the truck, uh, getting ready for the drive to Georgia, uh, which will actually be happening tomorrow morning. First, we need to go to Paris, Texas to drop off mom's car. Are you ready to move to Georgia? Yes. All right, let's do it then. Before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mom, we just had lunch. We're about 400 miles into our drive, most of it in the rain, almost all of it in the rain, actually. And we're about halfway home. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Well, me too, and I gotta tell you why. I, I just, I can't wait to have you back in our household. I love our time together. I, I just love the fact that you'll be there with Shelia while I'm traveling so much and that you get to be a part of our kids' lives. And I just so enjoy you. Um, so I wanna know, at 82 years old, does this feel for you like a new beginning? It's a new beginning and I feel younger already. <laughs> <laughs> well, describe that for me. Why, your, your philosophy about new beginnings in life. Take the moment, seize the moment. That is what I always try to do. When I wake up in the morning, I used to seize the day and now I ease into the day. But now I'm gonna be seizing the day. That's what I do every day. Well, that's, that's beautiful. And I think the lesson for all of us is uh, to look for those new beginnings in our yes. life and yes. to recognize they are actually all around us, aren't they? Oh, they are. And when they didn't turn out to be the beginnings we thought at that moment, oh, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're wonderful. So let me ask you, I, do you think Shelly is going to be excited to see you? Oh, Surprised? We're, we're going to hug and cry and laugh. Yes. You'll have to pinch yourself to make sure it's real, right? Oh, oh, I'll pinch her. <laughs> She's like, Mom! <laughs> well, we'll wait and see how that turns out. So until next week, trust your intuition to do what's right. Take all, care of your loved ones. All the time. All the time. <laughs> and, uh, and look for those new beginnings everywhere. Amen. And stay off balance. On purpose.